Hi guys, I'm sorry, my um, memory card ran out of memory, so I, I wasn't able to finish the last video. Hopefully I can edit it so that the two can mesh together. If not, then I'll just make this a part two, because I did get a lot of stuff from Rite Aid, so I guess it makes sense to make a part two. But on the good side, I found um, Lust. So that's Lust. It's the other color icon palette I was talking about. Um, anyway, but swatch video. If you want me to do a swatch video, I'll do one, um, but I, I'm not going to do one now. It's just too much. It's late. I'm tired. Um, other things I got from Wet n Wild. I got this nail polish. I figured it'd be a nice, I don't know, color for fall or maybe even winter. Reds always look good in winter around Christmas time. Not to be so, you know, tacky with Christmas and just get dolled up in green and red, but Whatever. It's called um, Caught Red Handed. It's number 24, 214A. So that's it. They had one that was like just regular bright red, and then they had this one which is a little bit deeper, and it just looked much more sophisticated. So I got that because who doesn't want to look sophisticated? Um, and then I got, because Gina Winabina, again, um, had been raving about this red lipstick. I think it's called red spotlight or spotlight red but the number is 911 d and she loved it she was writing about it and i think it looks really pretty it's just this really nice basic kind of red um i'm gonna say it's more on the orange side and not so much on the blue side if i had to choose i th i don't think it's that cool toned at all um i tried it on and i have a feeling that red doesn't look good on me and well I'll wear it, figure it out. But I got this other color. It's called Coraline, like Cora and then Line or Coral and then Line. I can't remember. Um, but it's 909D, and it's it almost looks red. It's so close to being red, but not quite. It's more of a coral. And if anybody watches Mad Men, you know Christina Hendricks. I think that's her name. Um, I can't remember what her character's name is in the show, but she, her character, it looks like she's wearing a red lipstick, but she's not. She's wearing a coral, and I'm sure it's a color like this, where it looks almost red, and it's really a coral, and I've tried this on, and I love it, and I've actually paired it with another purchase from, um, Rite Aid. It's Prestige Lip Liner, and it's called Poppy. I have a lot of Prestige Lip Liners. I think I have four now. Um, and I, I really like them, they're, they're, they go on smooth, when you put them on your lips, they go on smooth, you know, sometimes when you use a pencil, it, it can kind of drag or look kind of like patchy, and these don't, they're fabulous, and, well, fabulous, um, I, I really, really like them, I don't know what else to say, I have them in, Silk, which is like a really nude kind of pink color, so if you kind of want to nude out your lips, that would be a really great um, lip pencil for you. I have one in Cameo, and originally when I got it, I only got it because I love the name Cameo. I didn't really care about the color, which is a really stupid thing to do, but it was one of the best purchases I ever made because I think I use that pencil more than anything else. It's kind of closer to my lip color already, just a little bit deeper. And then I also, and I bought this, this is also with the haul, I bought this, it's called Love, and it's pink, and when I think of pink, I think of love, and cotton candy, and little girls, I, that sounded really weird and creepy, but I don't know, I think of being a little girl who was obsessed with gem in the 80s, and I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I love gem. I did. It was the best cartoon ever, and I wanted to be just like her. And I'm going to stop talking about that because we're talking about writing. And, um, I, this color is really bright. Hold on. Super bright. Probably really, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe farther back. Closer? Farther. I don't know. Um, it's, it's a, it's a kind of a bubbly pink. More, maybe more of a hot tone. A hot, hot pink. So, it's kind of in between. It's a pretty versatile pink is what it is. It's, if you need a pink lip liner, this is it. And, um, I've been wearing this with a Lancome lipstick my mom got me. can't remember what it's called, and it's not part of the haul, so I won't bother bringing it out. But it's a pink, hot pink. Um, 
lipstick and this works really great with it. But back to Poppy. It's orangier, so it's still kind of red. I think this might be the reddest shade they have. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't own all of them, although I probably will at some point because I love them so much. But this, it's, I, I really like it paired up with the Coraline 909D one. Um, the coral lipstick. I think they go really well together. Although I know that Gina Wina Bina, and I don't keep mentioning her, and I'm sorry, um, she's paired this with the super red one with um, 911D, the spotlight red or red spotlight. Um, she's paired these together, and it looked good. So if you need a red lip liner, you could use this. I've got one, a real true red, not so much orangey red from Rimmel, and I like that one a lot too, so I can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure you'll be able to see, you know, which one is the real red when you look at it. Um, but I figured since I was talking about these newer lipsticks, because these are kind of new, I, you know, Wet n Wild didn't have these before, they had, um, kind of, well, I don't know if you guys have all seen the old packaging, it's, it, not quite like NYC's, but it's like, it didn't look as cool as this. Like, this just looks much more sleek. It's got a different shape, you know, than other lipsticks I've seen. It's completely unique, I think. When when I when I look at these lipsticks, I know that it's wet and wild, which is really nice, you know, if you want, I mean, for the company anyway, for us, it's, you know, we don't care. We just want to make sure that, it, you know, we just want something that works, damn it. And, oh, I shouldn't have said that. But, um, I cursed, I'm sorry. Um, but this was the first one I ever got, and I got this a while ago. This is 916D. I don't remember what the name of the color was because I probably didn't look at it when I bought it. But I really like it. It's a deep purple. And I can't wait to wear it for fall. Actually, I've been dying to wear it now, but it's still it's still summer, and I feel like I have to respect the season, which makes me sound like a hippie. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. But moving on with the haul. The other thing that I got, this isn't from Wet n Wild Surprise. Um, this is from Sinful Colors. And they came out with a collection, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's like, it's something dark and vampire-y, like Embrace the Night or, or Get Bitten or something like that, which, you know, yeah. I'm sure it's not Get Bitten, but I can't remember what it's called. It's something, you know, really goth and whatever, which, you know, well, everybody's into now. It, this one's called Storming, and it's really dark. I, ooh. Thank God the camera's picking that up. It's blue. It's it's really dark. It's really like a dark navy, and um, it's got like blue glitter in it. Um, I don't want to say it's black, but honestly, I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you what the co what the color comes out as or what it looks like when it, when you have it on your nail. Um, but if you want a swatch of this, I will certainly give you a swatch. I have so much nail polish, and I don't know why I bought another one, but I just love this color. I thought it was so beautiful. They have a lot of new colors, um, or a lot of dark colors that are close, or that are like along the lines of this. Like they had one in black. I, I can't remember what that one was called. They had like a rusty, like really dark, sort of deep red, rusty color, and it was like so dark. It almost like it was like this. It if there was a red version of this. That's what it was, and they had they had a lot of dark colors. So if you're really into dark colors, you should really check it out. It was on a display. It wasn't with the rest of the sinful colors, you know, in like their normal little area. It was on a display like at the end of an aisle, and it was a small display. It wasn't too big. I think they have six or five, five or six new colors. Maybe there were seven. Um, I don't know, but they were all really dark like this. They, I don't know. I thought they looked pretty fabulous. But I've been using that word a lot lately, and I just stop. Um, but that's all I've gotten from Wet, from Wet n Wild, from Rite Aid. Although, well, it should be just a Wet n Wild haul. So, that's that. That's what I've got. Sorry, that was boring. <laughs> but um, hopefully the next video I'll come up with will be more entertaining, maybe. Um, if you have any requests, like perfume, or lipstick or nail polish collection videos or whatever or maybe even my makeup brushes I have a lot of stuff so just let me know and I'll show it and maybe do a review of something if that's what you want to okay so bye thank you